locked in the game. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Chicago Bears. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away, and off we go from Soldier Field. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. here this is Deontay Foreman he'll be hit down at the 33 five yards on the play a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game from the 33 here's second down at five they run again with Foreman and he'll push forward for a couple to the 34 but not much on that run Charles no, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. That is caught. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 16 yards is the pickup there on a first down for Chicago. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, poor decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. Down the left sideline. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Oh, 
Tucker with the extra point. And that makes the score 7 0. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now Fields. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. Now he's loose down the left sideline. D.J. Moore. Touchdown, Chicago. D.J. Moore, 72 yards. And the Bears are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase it. Santos with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So only even at seven now as they kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. Got a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. In motion, Aguilar. Now Jackson taps his forward jet sweep. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there, and they'll go backwards right away. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. On the option right is Jackson. yardage here. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. From the gun, Jackson buying time to his left. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as it falls incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. Fifty four yard punt 14 on the return nets him 40 and it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and 10. Go. On first and 10 it's Herbert and a six yard gain gets him right around the 43. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession, as they've got it with a second and four coming up.
Herbert once more. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They snap it to Fields. And this is caught. He hits more. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. First and 10 at the 33 yard line. Here we go, Snipe. Herbert powering up the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the 24 now, here's second and a yard. Foreman powering ahead. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first here half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss right. results there. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams, and the Ravens force the turnover, and they'll take over at the 10. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession in the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Tyler Gordon stopped that play before it ever got going. Great job. 13 yards remaining on second down. Now it's Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Throw caught by Flowers. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Now Jackson on second down. That's going deep for Bateman. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. On third down, it's Hill. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over 40 
seconds to go in the first half. is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Bears are going to get the football back and they're going to get it in great field position. down to about the 45. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. And they'll come up second and seven. A shotgun snap. Fields sliding out of the pocket. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here we go. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down, so I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Santo is able to tag on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. play of the half here. It's Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hill. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. A one touchdown ball game, 14 7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. 
And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone set, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the second time. To return is Taylor. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Bears take over. At their own 43 yard line. Here we go. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. He's got the connection to Moore. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Two yards, the loss, second and 12. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Now it's Fields. And he hits his target, the tight end Lewis. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up a third down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Now motion left with Mooney. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Chicago! Jamal Mooney with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And 
the Bears have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes, and while this game is far from over, I love their approach. Santos with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. To the touchdown. Here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. But Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Jackson. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw is Jackson. That's going deep for Bateman. It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 42 yards. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. First and 10, it's Dobbins. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a game of jump. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Now Jackson. This for Beckham and he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Ravens. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. 
Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Ravens 14. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and then by the way, also the two-minute warning in place, so essentially four timeouts. Yeah. They have to be aggressive here. A game of 28 yards there and give them a first down. And when you have success during the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. A handoff for Herbert. Thanks to the Mount Crease, still on his feet. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Khalil Herbert, 47 yards. And the Bears have opened up a two touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. I know I should keep the focus and the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. Touchdown. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. They'll come up first and 10 here. Jackson now. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. They'll come up now on second down. Jackson. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this is caught at the 20. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Odell Beckham. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens are back within a score. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this, and I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Tucker with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Ravens, 21. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Yeah, 
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. You have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. He's going to get it again, just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Here we go. And defensively, Baltimore's in a dime look here on third. They'll run with Herbert. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Here we go. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. That one looks like he'll throw here. His pass on target, Vinalis Jones with it. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Here we go. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a give to Foreman. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, 
that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down this stretch. A huge win. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.